Since this is our first lab, let's start from a blank desktop. Now this is assuming you've seen the videos on how to install SQL and how to set up your lab, and you've already installed SQL Server and set up the lab for lab 2.1. If that's the case, hit the start button, select Management Studio. Now if that's not there, you can find Management Studio under the SQL Server 2008 program group. Hit connect. On the left side of your screen, you will notice we have several databases that were installed thanks to the setup script of Lab 2.1. Now what we want to do is query a database, so we'll hit the new query window. Then SQL Server often holds many databases. When you run a query, you want to know which database you're querying from. You can only have one context at a time, but you can switch as often as you like. So if I were to look for all of the employees, which database am I pulling from? Well, the database context is set by this drop-down arrow. You can select the database of your choosing. For this lab, we're going to select Joe's to Pro's Practice Company, or JProCo. In JProCo, let's look at all of our employees. Type select star from employee. And hit F5 or the red execute button. Here it looks like we have 12 employees. In other words, we have 12 records. How many fields do we have? Looks like we have seven fields. As expected, our employees have a whole bunch of different last names. The first employee's last name is Adams. The next one is Brown. Let's take a really common last name. How many employees have the last name that is equal to Smith? Well, let's look for that by adding a WHERE clause, WHERE, last name, equals, and then a single quote, S-M-I-T-H, single quote, and run your query. Notice we get just one record, Sally Smith. How many employees have the last name of Brown? Inside of our single quotes, we'll put B-R-O-W-N, and hit Execute, or the F5 key, and again, we get just one employee. Now here, we've written out both queries at the same time. What happens if I hit the Execute button when both queries are up? You get two result sets. The first result set is the first query looking for all Smiths, and the second result set is the second query looking for all Browns. If I wanted to keep all of this code in front of me, but just run the Smith query, what you can do is select just the query you want to run and this gives me the Smith query. Select just this code, and I get the Brown query. Now if I don't select anything, then all of your code in your query window executes. Let's take another look at our entire employee table. Type select all fields from employee, and hit the execute button. Since I don't have a where, it's going to give me every record in the table. Now we can query off of the last name, looking for Smith and Brown. We can also query for a first name. A common first name is David. Let's look for all of the Davids. Type where, first name, equals, single quote, David, and execute. Looks like we get two, David Kenson and David Lawning. How about we change the first name criteria to Lisa? Looks like we only have one Lisa. Now let's say your goal was to look for all the Lisas and Davids. In other words, we're going to find three records if we do this. We can put the word OR first name equals David. Execute this query and it will find all the Lisas or the Davids and you get a total of three results. Now the reason you can't put Lisa and David in the same line with an equal sign is because an equal sign looks for one exact match, not an enumeration or many exact matches. If you wanted to make this query easier to read, there is another operator besides the equal sign that looks for exact matches. Put the word in, open parenthesis, 
and separate each exact match with a comma. Execute this query, and you get all the Lisas and Davids. You can keep going. You can find all the Lisas, Davids, and Eric's. Single quote, E-R-I-C. And now we get four records. We've done several queries from our employee table, but what about some other tables in JProCo? Let's look at our locations. Select every field from the location table and run it. Looks like we have four fields and four records. We have a total of four locations. Well, great. So far you've told us that there's an employee table and there's a location table. Are there more tables? What are they called? How do you research that? Well, if we look to the left in our Object Explorer, we can see the JProCo database is represented by its little yellow cylinder. If we expand that, one of its nodes is called Tables. Expand that and it will list the different tables that you can query from. Time for your Lab 2.1 Skill Check 1. Write a query that displays a result set of all records from the current products table inside the JProCo database. Show all fields and all records. When you're done, your screen should resemble figure 2.10. Here's some more skill checks, give you some more practice. Skill check 2 says, in the JProCo database, write a query that shows all records from the grant table. Skill check 3, in the JProCo database, write a query that shows all records from the grant table that have an amount of exactly 21,000. So skill check 3 is similar to skill check 2, but you need to add a where clause. Finally, skill check 4 says, Write a query that displays a result set of all records from the location table that are in the state of Washington. Washington in this database is abbreviated with a capital W-A. When you are done, your screen should resemble figure 2.11. Great! That completes the first lab, Lab 2.1 on single table queries. Next item, let's see what's possible with Lab 2.1 in the video points to ponder.